Hello friends. Today's video is about higher education in Germany. So Germany offers excellent higher education for free. Yes, you heard it right. The public education system in Germany is free because we all pay taxes to support the system. And this is really finest education because everyone in true sense gets equal opportunity to study in whichever university they like, right? It's merit-based, you don't have to pay any fees. So it's a boon for students, you know? And I encourage each of you to kind of really apply to German universities because the experience for me has been incredible. So let's talk about German higher education. You know, in Germany, the schooling, unlike say India or many other countries, is of 13 years, that is, in India, you have 10 plus 2 education, but in Germany, you have 10 plus 3. So people who come from countries where you have a 10 plus 2 system, they have to do a equalization course, you know. So they have to, of course, they have to first learn German. If, the, if they're choosing for education, which is taught in German, then they have to kind of really learn German. And then there's something called student in college. So student in college is done to equalize your education at par with Germany because Germany is not doing 10 plus 2 but it has a kind of a 13 year education system which is called Abitur and after the Abitur you know the people actually go to college college means university right so in university you have bachelor's courses you have master's courses and then you have PhD courses right and then you also have postdoc and things like that but that is like more like higher education training rather than education so phd let's consider phd as the terminal degree here so i will be telling today about how to get admitted in germany german university on a bachelor's for a bachelor's degree then how to get admission in master's program and then how to get admission for phd program although i know all these uh, you know all these uh, levels of education uh, they need a kind of a separate video but i'll try to kind of provide you a comprehensive uh, um, information about all these degrees so you know if you want to do bachelors in germany for example then you have to come to germany learn german till c1 level depends on how much time you take on average students take one year to reach to c1 level right and after that, they go for preparatory courses. Uh, these preparatory courses are actually done by a student in college. This is a special name. You will be knowing it more or, you know, you can, uh, when you come here, you will automatically know, right? So student in college is done in various, uh, suppose you have to do bachelor's in biochemistry, or bachelor's in mechanical engineering, or bachelor's in informatics you know so for all these courses you have different streams you know or bachelors in business so for example if you have to study biological stuff then you have to do a PCB uh, student college where you will be taught physics chemistry and biology and a bit of mathematics also right to kind of uh, set you at par with uh, the German students if you want to go in, into engineering then you will be you will have to study physics chemistry and mathematics right for that one year and then if you want to study say business then of course you need a business like a commerce stream right to do your uh, equalization so uh, yes so after you finish your student in college your marks in your plus two examination plus the marks that you have gained in the student and college will be averaged out and then depending on that you will be given the university and the course you know depending on how much marks you score now here's something that you need to be really careful first of all first of all avoid consultant for god's sake you know because there are many consultants you know in developing countries especially countries like india where you know they kind of give you a lot of hope that hey let's get uh, we will get you admission into medicine because in germany getting ad admission into medicine is really easy and it's uh, 
you know there's no fees and stuff like that so many students get lured for it but be careful because getting admission in medicine in germany is by no means easy only the top candidates only the best of people you know best of students get admission into medicine so it will be really tough that said i have seen many indian students who could you know who could get admission into medicine course but 90% of the students who come here through the consultants you know in search of medical courses fail in doing so that is the statistics of it you know so really i would tell you that please avoid all the consultant and try getting admission yourself you know so because there's plenty of information available and the process is also quite transparent so i don't see any hassle if you want to apply directly so yes for those who are coming or trying to come this year all the best next is master degree courses and this is you know the maximum students from abroad actually come to germany for masters courses and i recommend doing masters in germany very strongly you know why first of all the infrastructure the infrastructure of the laboratories the infrastructure of the college the the education quality the faculties and everything is just amazing you know so i would really really encourage all of you who are looking forward to come to germany come with a clear mind you will always feel good about doing a masters in germany you will have you will have difficulties you know because of course you know coming from a different country and then uh, pursuing your education in a different country is always a bit uh, full of hassle but then you will never regret because you will learn a lot of things also apart from you know the courses that will be offered so you will learn to work part part time as a student you will also learn how you know multicultural society operates you will also learn a bit of german so you know you have a lot of things that you can gain from a masters education in germany and then of course you will be also ready for the german market and you can get a nice job after finishing your masters so how does the process looks like so in germany you know whether you are applying for a masters degree or you are applying for a bachelors degree the admission is quite central and that is why a uni assist so uni assist is a as a platform where you can go and search for the courses in your uh, stream depending on which town you want to come to in germany you know so you that is kind of a database and it's a very user friendly website you know so i would encourage you in fact i will give the link to uni assist uh, in this video so you have to fill in the uni assist form and then they will ask for different documents you know? so you have to kind of get all this document notarized in india and uh, after notarization of these documents along with your cv and you know all the requested documents you have to basically send them for assessment to uni assist berlin they will charge you some fees the fees is approximately 75 euros and it also depends on how much how many universities you want to apply to you know so i don't know the latest fees but you can have a look because it keeps on changing year to year um, but yeah that is very nominal fees you know so after you kind of uh, uh, pay the pay these fees they will process your application and you know they will equalize also your grades so for example in india if you have a cgpa or if you have a percentage you know like 80% 90% depending on how much you scored in india they will kind of equalize your marks with the german system german system is about notes it's uh, your grades are between 1 to 5 notes one being the top and five being you know like the worst so i know for sure that you know if you have notes below 2.3 your chances are high of getting admission into german university otherwise it can be really tough to get admission and of course it depends on which in depends on which course you are applying and depends on which university you are applying you know so this is all taken into account so that is one part so after the assessment assessment is done your 
application will be forwarded to the respective university and the respective university will kind of you know look through your documents and if they find you suitable for the course they will offer you admission and then you are ready to pack your bags and come to Germany basically this so also for bachelor student I did not mention but uh, the bachelor student also need to apply via this uh, uh, uni assist system and you know they they kind of process the application very similarly and once you come you can do the preparatory German course you can do the student in college and then you can do your bachelors so most of the bachelors program in Germany are actually uh, done in German but that said there are many many English taught programs as of now also in bachelors so you know uh, if you don't want to say kind of admit yourself to a German taught program you can always enroll yourself in an English taught program you know? and that will be kind of uh, also not very difficult you know you just have to do that uh, equalization course here and then you can get admission into your choice of your bachelor's program now coming to admission into PhD so the PhD education in Germany is really really excellent and there are many universities offering PhD programs and there are many dedicated research institutes like the Max Planck's like the Helmholtz found so all these you know all these institutes research institutes and universities offer PhD programs PhD programs in Germany are uh, really you know world-class uh, I can tell you because I came to Germany for doing my PhD I did my PhD from the Max Planck's and it was mind-blowing experience so I would I would really recommend all of you to kind of apply for PhD positions in Germany if you plan to do your PhD and uh, you'll be considered really lucky if you get admission to PhD programs in Germany because these are like really one of the best PhD programs you can do in the world actually so which universities offer PhD almost all universities you know all universities offer PhD programs um, all the research institutes dedicated research institutes like the Helmholtz like the DKFZ which is part of Helmholtz of course then you have Max Planck research schools you know these are very prestigious uh, for international uh, PhD students so I was also very lucky to get into the Max Planck Research School and this is really truly a world-class experience because you will get to meet students from almost all geographies you know you will see American students you will see African students you will see European students you will see Asian students so it is really really amazing experience you know you know to do a PhD how to go about doing a PhD in Germany I mean the process is not very complicated it's quite straightforward so most of the research institutes they advertise their PhD programs um, and you have to apply apply to them you know so uh, and, and there are many universities which actually also offer a graduate school you know their own graduate school programs where you have to apply with your CV your letter of recommendation and of course you know you will have an interview and, and then you know if you kind of uh, are successful you will be offered a position so here my recommendation would be to apply to the Max Planck research schools you know so different Max Planck offer different uh, PhD programs you know for example I did my PhD from the Max Planck Institute of Heart and Lung Research in Bad Nauheim. so it has uh, something called IMPRS HLR you know so it's a international Max Planck research school for heart and lung so you can always apply to this kind of program so different Max Planck Institutes have different schools and they always advertise their positions and then you will have to apply fulfilling all the criteria and kind of uh, that that's about it or aap sabo ko mere taraf se best wishes aur shubh kamnaye aur jo bhi log phd karna chahte hain ya masters karna chahte hain ya bachelors karna chahte hain aap apply kijiye aur main aap se milunga germany mein bye bye thank you